It's been a long day for me. We're still going here. We're trying to get this grow wall uh, test set up. You can see I've removed all the old grow boxes from it and I have just the old grow box um, mounts, wall mounts. And I wanted to just show you, compare and contrast. Here's, you know, this is like version four of the wall mount ideas. Well, I guess this, this one would be here, but uh, you can see what we're at now with the magnetic supports. We've reduced the number of screws that go into it, same size. Uh, so all I really should have to do is remove these and start putting these in and everything should clamp right in place. So I'm going to go grab the screw, screw gun and we're going to see if we can't get that done real fast. All right, sorry for the lighting. It's nighttime, so we're out here. I've got the barn lights on, but we're kind of in a dark little corner here. So my objective right now, uh, I'm not going to be able to get this all done tonight. It's already 9 p.m. I've been going all day. So uh, I'm going to just take this first row off one at a time here and get the new mount we're just doing one section of mounts here right, let me put the two screws into each one that was smart thinking so here's the old one this is version 11 now of these and everything's gonna mount like that we use the old ones as a guide. And again, for those that, for the customers that will eventually not want to be screwing these into the wall, you could do just the 3M double-sided sticky tape is the idea that you'll be able to just put those on the back. It's another reason when I'm why I want to get that dual extruder going because it allowed me to put more indentations on uh, the designs, which I've, I've avoided doing that because it ends up making the print a lot harder to deal with and a lot more labor goes into it as, as you've seen. Now these are we did a pokey oak on these, so they can only go in one way. If you try to shove them in, there will be a problem. Uh, they actually have a hinge, or a notch, I should say, not a hinge, excuse me. A notch up here so that they can only go one way, and there's a receiving notch on the bottom. So they are keyed. And you can see the difference already in how these look. It's a nice retrofit, that's for sure. <laughs> I like that. All right. Well, let's go get the grow boxes and see how they look. One thing I'm a little hesitant about tonight is that I have all the magnets, they're all glued into place. Uh, I just, I'm hoping that the glue is set really well. It, they've been sitting all day, so I, I think the answer should be yes. And now it doesn't really matter which way we install these because they are now designed to be easily installable. So let's just start from the bottom. Here, we got that put on. Now the service loop is designed to go down now. And come on offset issue here from when I screwed it in. There it goes. There it is. It's in. Uh, it sits in there a little weird. All right, but that install is certainly a lot easier than last install. Now, the only thing I don't have on here yet is the lighting electrical don't have it in and before I do version 12 I'd like to have that solved yeah so here's the thing when you install these what's happening is they're shifting left right slightly when you um, screw them in now, that is an interesting thing that shouldn't be happening Quite honestly. 
boy, they, hey, when they get in there, though, they get in there, which is great. That's part of what we wanted to make sure is that they're nice and stiff in there. This guy got screwed up on the printer. He's ugly, but that's okay for testing. It isn't as good as what I like. It is being a little bit of a turd. Why is that? It goes in, I think we might have a warp, plastic warpage going on here. I'm not. 100% oh that we took off a piece of glue didn't stick on that one that might be why it's off a little bit uh, there it goes it probably is no. yeah I think they are spreading out when the uh, screws get in I think it's pulling off a little bit I think we have a slightly crooked section here. That's my guess. Can I still get in? So this is why we test right here. So you're gonna need a tool to extend this so you can get in those tight spots. Let's go get the face plates and see how they mount up. You'll notice I don't have the power uh, units installed here, the wireless power transmission for the lights. We're gonna do some testing offline before we get that there, but. Let's go get the covers. All right, here we go, here we go. We got our magnets installed, our new face plates with the integrated bowls on them to help with the drainage and also the integrated drain, which I think is gonna end up having to be bigger. And I already saw something I didn't think through all the way, which was the final drain on this guy. So these are supposed to slide in here. I like that. That feels really good. Do we get dust on these? Off a little bit. I don't think those are gonna come off though. Definitely we're picking up metal shavings. Oh, there we go. Mosquitoes. Nobody likes those guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a break just to get away from the mosquitoes. This guy shifted there. Had a little shift problem. Not huge, but it's there. All right, well, compared to what we had before, I really like these. I mean, huge improvement. I think these still need a little trimming. So the magazine's going there. I think this one got a little hot when it printed, so it's a little gooey. So there we go. Sneak it in. So you have to definitely don't want to be like just grabbing it. We're gonna need way stronger magnets if if people want to just grab that and pull it out. We'll have to either add more tolerant. Oh, there we go. Yeah, probably just rough on that first. So I'm being careful. Yeah, if someone just comes in and grabs it, it's the whole thing is going to come off, which isn't going to hurt anything. It's designed to do that. So it's not horrible. That's the handle, I guess, that you have. Now here's the real test. Can we take this middle section off? That's, that was the big redesign right there, guys. Having that where it can come in and off, but I don't like these tolerances, how it's stacking up back there, aligning. This one down at the bottom shifted on me. It makes it to where your install has to be very, very precise to have a nice straight line. But overall, I like it. I like it. 
Now I did bring out a uh, version one of the light mount here, which has its magnets in it. Ta-da! And you have to whack it pretty hard there. Let's see if I'll hold up top. Look at that. I mean, it's only going to have lights on it. So we could always go with stronger magnets, but then we have to either find ones that are more dense magnets, uh, which means more expensive, or we'll go with larger magnets, which means we need to allocate more space. But I'm liking how that sets up. Oops. I thought, uh, there we go. I really like that. And then the wireless power transmission on there, we get that to work. I think that's gonna be a really slick solution. I like that. I like how they just mount like that. I think that's great. I think this needs to be a little bit thicker though because this is the magnets showing through right here. Uh, that's okay because prototype. Tonight I'm gonna stop, go think about this, and then tomorrow we're gonna come out here, we're gonna plug these guys up and we're actually gonna turn the pump on. Now this pump, I have this high pressure pump, uh, we do need some high pressure going through this thing. Uh, but we don't need as much as what I have. And I had this pump and I just was, didn't want to spend the money. So I was trying to use it. So I cranked its pressure down. We're going to give it a shot tomorrow and see what it looks like. Um, the, I think overall the pump I have is way too much for it. So I, I got the 12 volt pumps that we have for the grow towers. We might uh, hook one of those up to a 12 volt power supply and see what we can do there. But tomorrow will be a good test day. We'll see. Tomorrow, I think now that we made it this far, we will be able to get to what we need to get to to see the final changes that we need to make, print the other six, and uh, we need to get the black ones too if we can. If Big Bertha and that particular filament would cooperate, it'd be nice to have the black ones back. But we just need to get them growing. So, I guess recapping for myself, uh, really like the light mount. I think that is gonna work. We just need to uh, get it built, get one built, um, and get the lights on it, get the power supply going, see how that does. We gotta get the power supply into the um, wall mounts so that all you gotta do is, you know, put this thing in and life is good. They are, from a negative standpoint, they're tight, which is good and bad. Um, it's good that they're tight like this because they're people worried that they're going to fall off. Ugh. They're not falling off. You maybe thought I was faking it. Not. I was pushing really hard. So the, uh, the circles that hold the magnets help transfer the load. Oh, that one definitely is not glued in there. I'll let that sit out tonight. Oh, well, that one popped out too. I'm using Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, Gorilla Brand, Gorilla Glue Brand Super Glue, and uh, it's supposed to hold all this, but it takes a long time for it to dry. So what I'm seeing here is that the ends, they're moving as we tighten the, actually that is what's happening here. Here's what I think the dynamics are, is that as I screw this in and I put torque on it, it's twisting just a little bit. It's twisting this piece of material. So this one goes that way and this one goes that way. Same over here. And we're getting a warpage. So we might have to put some extra material in to transfer those loads and avoid uh, the warpage, which could be easily done with some cross members, I think. So we'll need to look at those dynamics. Um, try to get SolidWorks to show us that maybe uh, so we can see it. Because we definitely don't want that torque because these are designed to perfectly align, so they shouldn't be having this interesting dynamic happening, which is shifting it. So that, that shift, so far that shift is the biggest problem with this. Um, I like these, but I think we either we might need some more magnets right now there's just four magnets holding the front plates in maybe we go to six just to see that might be 
the right thing to do. But uh, for right now, they're gonna hold. So that thing gets heavier. It's something we're gonna have to look at, potentially more magnets on those front face plates. Otherwise, very happy with this design. Very, very happy. Let's, you're not gonna be able, the lighting's gonna change here, but let's see what it looks like with the grow light on. Oops. There we go. Yeah, this bottom one shifted a little. It might have been how I mounted it. So the mounting solution might need a, a jig or tool to help keep it straight. <sighs> but these are all working. I like it, guys. I really like it. I think as far as the design elements go and pretty the functionality i'm curious to know what you guys think about the looks um first to caveat these are 3d printed prototypes so when we go to production it won't look like this it'll look really finished it'll be smooth and great edges and you won't see any 3d printing lines or anything like what's in here or the lines here lines here it'll all be injection molded really nice so if you can just imagine seeing that what's wrong with these what would keep you from putting this in your kitchen talk to your wives talk to your girlfriends ladies what would stop you from putting this in your house is and then also on the positive what would make you want to put one of these in your house um, is the shape not cool enough is it cool is does it look cool is it, does it have the sexy cool factor does it not tell me what you guys think i need to know i want to make the changes in this next version uh at least start to get a, a i don't know maybe you guys will come back and tell me that the whole thing needs to be like redone as far as the sexiness goes but i'd like to get a start on it in version 12. so let me know what you think on that note i'm going inside going to sleep i'm going to see you guys 